The call had gone out for objectors to turn out in force, and they did. The wildlife that benefits from that area regularly visit our um, neighbourhood. We've often seen deers in our estate. Why are you coming here tonight? Uh, in the hope, but I'm afraid not the expectation, that the council will listen to the residents. It just all becomes a mass of houses. It's just the, the urban spread. Bracknell looms large over those who come here to get away from it all. Now this green gap was under threat. The council's motive for wishing to destroy a protected greenfield site remains at best difficult to pin down. Public support for those petitioning to keep the bulldozers off the land was clear. But as the votes piled Absolutely. up, it was obvious to protesters listening on speakers in reception. Councillor Virgo. The numbers just simply weren't in Council their favour. It's a disgrace. Absolute whitewash. Absolute whitewash. Oh, disgusting. Absolutely outrageous. Council yeah. bosses had insisted this was just a technical motion, something to start the removal of a minor legal obstacle to development plans already approved. Just as people would have been upset when their homes were built, after a while they got used to them, and hopefully that'll be the case with the people that were upset this evening. But as people leave here tonight, the words of one councillor will be ringing in their ears. But the objectors will continue to fight this, wanting every I dotted and every T crossed as the process continues. Joe Campbell, BBC South Today at Bracknell Forest.